to my YouTube channel. In this video, R.B. King Vaughn. Vaughn, man. It's tragic. It hit home for a lot of people. Um, I want to say R.I.P. It's just R.I.P. I'm speechless. But it's, fault. it's not his fault. It's not no one's fault. Because at the end of the day, who fought Kobe dad? Who fought all these other people dad? Who fought all these innocent victims dad? So in that case, no one should say that. I have the screenshots I'm going to show you right on the side of the screen right here. But if everybody got to do something to make it to where they want to be or do what they succeed at, what their strength is to make it out or where they at or make it to a better place where they want to be or make it to a goal or a dream. So just like Kobe, Kobe was a basketball player. He found something that was his strength. He took it and ran with it, legend, for example. Michael Jordan, he makes shoes, boom. He knew he had it, got it, boom. He got it. For, what's somebody else? Whitney Houston, she made music, boom. She knew she could sing, had the voice, got it. Mariah Carey, she could sing, she took it and ran with it. And last but not least, King Vaughn. He knew what he was good at, he took it for him. Who else? Duck. He took it what he had, what he knew, what he knew. Took it around with it and did it. It's about your strength at the end of the day. So people seeing that it was his fault or even even comparing Duck and Vaughn, they both black. They're both black. People say black lives matter, but if black lives really matter, why did y'all compare them? They're not a comparison. They're both legends. They're both legends. Even though they're hood legends or whatever y'all want to call legends, everybody made it to a legend. Tyler Perry. Look at Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry was homeless. Look. Look at him now. Who else? James Fresh was homeless. Look at him now. He took what he knew what he could do and ran with it. Tyler Perry took what he knew what he could do and ran with it. So, I really don't want to make this long because I know it's tough for a lot of people in Chicago. OTF, OTF, Only the Family, Olaf, all that. I know it's tough, but I just wanted to say people I'm gonna show y'all the screenshots on the side of the screen for the stuff I seen but it's horrible like it's just sad the way people came across with it and saying all this stuff like imagine if this your family imagine if this your imagine if this your husband your son your brother your cousin your daddy your uncle so all the people that sing and stuff, not even trying to be on King Von's side. But if if they would have put the guns down years ago like they were saying, they would both had a life right now. They would both had a life right now. In this video right here, King Von was fighting. Uh -uh. So Father Water would have been fighting, or his homies would have been fighting. It wouldn't have been a problem. King Von would still have his life right now. Ronald Ronald would still have his life right now. And it would have been that. I mean, yeah, they probably would have still had beef or whatever. With what's going on. But besides that, it wouldn't have been no... It wouldn't have been no shooting. Chicago, put the guns there. Black Lives Matter. We losing, we losing too many legends. Too many legends. Too many black legends. Black African American legends. Put the guns down. Put the hands up, guns down. For example, George Floyd. No, it ain't got nothing to do with shooting, but we losing all these legends. So after we lose the legends, who will be the ones that come up? Jews World. After all these legends gone, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? R.I.P. Vaughn, R.I.P. Duck, R.I.P. Floyd, R.I.P. Trayvon Martin, R.I.P. all the black legends. Even if you wasn't black legends, R.I.P. to all the black people. 
Y'all need to put the guns down and come together. We if we put all our masks together, we can think of something for all the black people to come together. We need to come together. We can't say black lives matter and not really meet it deep down in the soul. Because if you mean it deep down in the soul, we we'll all come together and think of something together to have the black people control. You see, black people, we got power, but we don't use it. We got authority, but we don't use it. All these little sad jobs, all these jobs you get, work and get to be a manager. Get a black owned, the whole store got black people in it. Not even just black people, but just, you You get hired, go do your job, what to be get promotion, promotion. It's not easy getting promotion, you can say it done, but if we can do that, work together, even if we come up with a, all these young people get black on the business, that sell them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these websites, we can come together and get a big store with all the black and people merchandise to come together. You know how cold that'll be? Come on now, we got this, Black Lives Matter. If you didn't already, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, more reactions, more food, food videos, more cooking videos, and I will be posting some on Thanksgiving. Love, black people. Wakanda forever.